Hi guys, this is Jude from EasyTex. In this quick tutorial, I'll be demonstrating how you can upgrade from Windows 10 Home Edition to Windows 10 Pro Edition without reinstalling your Windows and without losing any files or applications. And in case you're wondering the differences between the two editions, this table here provides a summary of that. Simply put, the Pro Edition provides you more features and functionalities than the Home Edition. As you can see from this table, functionalities like remote desktop, group policy management, BitLocker, and a number of other features are available with the Pro Edition, but not with the Home Edition. Now to upgrade from Home to Pro Edition, you will need a Windows Pro license key. You can buy one from some online dealers or resellers like this. You can also reuse one from a scrap laptop or desktop CPU, as I'll be doing in this video. For that, you will need to check and be sure that such license is not in active use. Then next, you will also need an internet connection, not just to activate with the Microsoft servers, but also to download the extra packages that come with the Pro Edition. So the faster your internet connection, the better. With that, the rest of the process is pretty straightforward, so let's jump right into it. Okay, so first, let's check and see what edition of Windows I currently have running on my laptop. To do that, I will open my file explorer then click on this PC. From this top menu, I will click on computer and then system properties. A page like this should pop up and when you scroll down, you will find where it says Windows specifications. Here you will find what edition of Windows you are currently running. As you can see, mine is Windows 10 Home Edition version 1803. And right underneath these specifications, you will find where it says change product key or upgrade your edition of Windows. So click on that. On this page, it again shows that I have Windows 10 Home Edition activated with a digital license. And below the page here, you will see where it says change product key. So click on that. Then you should have this blue dialog box asking for the product key. Here you should carefully enter your Windows 10 Pro license key. Now needless to say that you need to enter this key accurately to be effective. After that, hit next. If you are getting any negative messages at this stage, then check and be sure you are entering the key correctly. Remember that the hyphens are automatically put in the right places, so you don't have to enter the hyphens. If the license key is valid and has been entered correctly, then you should get to the next stage which says upgrade your edition of Windows. Here it reminds you that the process will be adding new features to your Windows, so you will need to save your work and close your applications before starting the process. And with that done, you should then click on start to begin the upgrade process. Here you can see the percentage progress of the upgrade. You should definitely ensure your PC remains powered on the entire time. I will advise having it plugged to power the whole time, even if you have a good battery, because if the process terminates in between, it could lead to loss of data. After preparing the upgrade, your PC should restart automatically, and then it should boot up to this blue screen showing the progress of your upgrade. Again, this could take some time depending on the processing power of your PC. I would say anywhere between 10 to 20 minutes. All you need to do is just wait for the process to complete. I will fast forward this part of the video. After the installation, your PC should restart and then start adding the new features for the Windows 10 Pro Edition. After that, it should restart again and then it should boot back to your desktop. And with that, we've successfully upgraded from Windows 10 Home Edition to Windows 10 Pro Edition without having to reinstall Windows and without losing any files or applications. 
So if I go back to check my Windows specifications, here it now shows that I have Windows 10 Pro Edition. And when you check the activation status, it shows here that Windows is activated with a digital license. Hope this was able to help you out. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful. Share with anyone you think might want to see. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for notifications on future tech support videos like this one. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.